There are so many pro players on these teams here, like Chichin, who normally plays in Savage Esports, Selenio, who plays for Space Station Gaming. They were just in the World Championship. Over on the other side here, we have Synthe, who uh, was playing for MS Esports, and they just placed third in the World Championship. We had Srut with Tryhard on this team here, who was also in the World Championship. Tons and tons of incredible players here, top tier throughout the world. And now today, they're playing in the Town Hall 6 Cup grand finals championship there's a $25,000 prize pool but they're going to be playing for $2,500 on the day the rest of it is available for you guys to have a chance to get if you can compete with these players because every single week for the next 10 weeks there's going to be a $2,500 tournament and it's going to go up to the next town hall level every single week here so it's starting town six on Monday, October 17th, it goes to Town Hall 7. There'll be four open qualifiers to let anybody sign up with a 5 versus 5 Town Hall Cup there that is going to match the... Uh, or it's going to slowly escalate as we go through this. Crushed. Uh, I'm over here talking. This base is already deleted. And the biggest thing that we're going to have to be keeping in mind here, especially for the Town Hall 6, 7, and 8 Cups here, because they are relatively easy to get the perfect wars, is how fast you can get it done here. So it's a race to the finish here. This one looked quite efficient there using one healer with the Giants in from the bottom of the base there. And he's going to get this one done in about a minute and 50 seconds here by the looks of it. But guys, if you want to sign up a team and get involved and win some money and play alongside these pro players and you have a Town Hall 7, then get involved right away there. Go over to Rush.gg, sign up for the Town Hall 7 Cup and start to play in the competitive esports community. And then Town Hall 8 will be the weekend after. And then Town 9 and all the way to Town 15. But uh, a lot of players here like to play out of disguise at these low-level tournaments so that they avoid streamers because you end up with less base loss there to play their way through the tournament. And so they try to avoid being streamed as they make their way through. Looks like a little lightning will come in at the bottom of the base here to did he get the army camp out of the way there. He prioritized an army camp over the defense. Interesting choice there. But it does set up the funnel nicely to start to drive in from the right side. And now the Wizards and the Giants will be able to collapse into the Wizard Tower. He gets a wall break in for that. He's got seven more wall breakers. But the Bloons able to take advantage of that Arch Tower being gone at the bottom of the base there. And a solo Bloon is able to go get the cannon. And was that a was that a mortar on the end there? One way or another, one Bloon getting some really, really high value over there. Here comes the CC pull. Like he'll take it out there with the lightning. The goblins that are out of there could uh, hopefully get burned up by these wizards here. Able to handle that cannon and get the last shot onto these goblins. Come on. Okay, got the goblin down. A little bit nervous on that one, but he does start to throw in spring traps next to the giant. What? He's throwing, he is throwing in wall breakers to try to trigger the spring trap right there. And he's able to get the giants to deploy without a spring trap. That was kind of creative. I like that. And the lightning is already... Wait, what? Was it the lightning that weakened up that wizard tower? No, it wasn't. I don't know how I got that wizard tower weakened up. Was it lightning? It might have been lightning. Maybe I missed that. But either way, he's absolutely got it crushed here. And time, like we said, is going to be the biggest factor here. So he needs to get through the walls here as quick as possible and get to this last air defense because every single second on the clock here is going to be precious in this tournament because that could ultimately decide if we end up with a double perfect war. So finally into the last of these defenses and he even has a couple of uh, nice walls in the middle of the base there, giving the Wizards access and he quickly gets in there. One minute and 45 seconds on that one. Nice job for Charles. Selenio is live. What they just come in in the World Championship? Fourth place? Fourth place in the World Championship? I mean, now playing at Town Hall 6. Well, cause we'll see what he can do here. He's brought in one healer. 10 giants and a bunch of wizards. He's got the lightning here. Lightning is the best spell at Town Hall 6 here, but he does deploy the giants onto the mortar on the right side with the one healer. Those were his CC giants, so additional ones there. He'll draw the CC over to that edge of the base there, taking it out with some lightning as they pass by, but doesn't able to not able to catch all of it, so. He puts in some wall breakers now. The wall breakers are actually going to deal some damage to the goblins there. Not enough to actually take them down, but the barbarians get in there, start dealing with that. While the healers try to keep these giants topped off here, but the balloon dealing some damage to the giants. They're taking a lot of damage. More giants come down to replace. He's to handle the CC. Kind of mishandling it at the moment here, but he's okay. He's okay. He's going to have the giant die out here, but the wizard will continue on and should get that wizard tower down. More giants deployed down south here to go into the archer tower down there. Some small bombs going off and killing all of his archers. 
Perhaps they're high impact at this level of Clash of Clans, so I want to keep that in mind here. The healer not able to keep that wizard up, and the giant will now circle around the top of the base here. At least the healer is staying alive. Not able to get targeted as long as he can keep the troops out in front of it and stay away from the air defenses. But over on the left side of the base here, more giants are deployed in that area. Wall break to get him into the archer tower. So far, so good. He's another wall break over there to get into the wall. But the healer keeping that giant up and... The giant, does it even get targeted by anything right there? Okay, not really. He's still doing okay here. He's got the giants now making their way into the last couple of defenses over here. And this wizard needs to get this mortar down. Is able to get the last strike on it. Alright, he might be okay here. Giants starting to die out here, but the wizard starting to swarm into the last couple defenses. They should be able to overwhelm it. He's got a barbarian there supporting. They go directly to the cannon. They don't go to the archer tower. Come on, get the cannon down! Oh, get it, get it, get it. One more strike. One more wizard. One more shot. Got it. That might be the difference of the attack here. Selenio almost falls short and your death will stay in this war. Imagine missing at this level here. But honestly, there have been a lot of wars as they played their way through this tournament that were not a double perfect war. So it is definitely easy to let these attacks get away from you and misjudge exactly how many troops you need to have on each defense because your troops are very very weak and the defenses while not being strong your your troops are equally not as strong so it stays pretty balanced here but Selenio gets it done slow attack yeah it was a bit slow okay mas pues I don't know who that is but we'll see what the French team can do here or Spanish Maybe a mix? I don't know. I'm not sure who all the players are here. Well, obviously, we've identified a handful of the popular pro players here and excited to see them play and make it to the finals here. And it's kind of uh, crazy that you always, see, you always see the cream rise to the top. You know what I mean? You always see the top players in Clash of Clans consistently make it to the ends of almost any tournament. And since they're completely open signups here, it makes it all the more impressive. But he's going to swarm in a bunch of balloons in to go after the air defense here. He was able to use lightning to get the other air defense, just uh, pushing heavy into this air defense here, and he'll surround the top of the base there with more balloons, going with a mass balloon army here. I almost called it a Lalo, but there's no Lava Hounds, and he's kind of struggling with the air defense here. If he can at least get the other buildings out of the way there, then he can at least get in there with his troops in from the bottom and go finish off that air defense. But I'm going to worry about this cannon in the middle base here if he doesn't have the balloon survive. Uh-oh. Is he going to mess this up? He lost some troops down south there with the giant bomb. So needs to secure the Town Hall takedown. I think you can outrange the defenses if he comes in from the top. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. He's going to leave a lot of percentage on the board here. This is really bad. I think he still secures the Town Hall with his wizard, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> but the balloon armies, honestly, I feel like balloons... I like to use them in Town Hall 6 on my new accounts there, but... I feel like balloons are honestly one of the weakest armies... Because I see the majority of the fails coming in because the blues just don't have a lot of punch there. I do like to see when people throw in like giants to give the tanking for the balloons so that they can make their way through the defenses. Maybe we'll see that later on in the war here, but able to secure the town hall takedown. So at least he's got that and he'll gather as much percentage as he can here. Get that collector down. Can he cross 80? He's close. Goblin. Oh, Goblin gets knocked away and he does end up getting it down 81%. All right, they can potentially work with that. We'll see what happens. Joel is live. I'm pretty sure Joel is Mar and all. I've seen him play at Town Hall 14. He just played uh, Space Station was not only in the World Championship, but then they turn around and they won the Golden Heart Cup. And then they turn right back around after that. And they won the Fire Fiera Cup there as well. And I'm pretty sure when Mar and all took his Town Hall 14 account to 15 when they released that he was playing an account named Joel so I'm I can't say for sure but I'm pretty sure this is Marinol using some lightning to take out the left side of the base and using that as a funnel to drive the giants in to work counterclockwise around this base here a couple wall breaks get him into the cannon compartments and he needs to swarm into this arch tower down south it's starting to target his wizards down there so that's not good Potentially lose a lot of wizards there. He throws in more archers to try to support that. He does ultimately get it down. Didn't lose too many wizards there, so he might still be in good shape here. He 
He's going to send in the balloons into the area of the base there that is away from the air defense. And with the air defense already being taken out on the left side of the base, which are, was an air defense over there that he zapped out, right? I don't know what it was. I, I forgot. But he doesn't have any threats to this balloons here, so they're going to sweep in. And that's the way I like to see balloons used. At this level, taking advantage of every single different troop that you have on your arsenal. I think he literally brought in every troop that you have available at Tunnel 6 in this attack here. So I guess Joel is not Marnal. It's just it's just Joel. So I was wrong there. But let's dive into Solax coming in from Madeline. Coming in with a couple of lightning into that top compartment there. I'm going to clear out three buildings there. Was it two defenses? I think he got two defenses out of that. Was it a cannon and... Nope. It was a wizard tower and an archer tower in the top compartment. So now he used a balloon to snipe off the building the outside of the base there, which must have been a mortar, right? And then it obviously got shut down by the air defense there, but using one balloon to take out one defense is obviously a very, very high value. But he handles the CC as he pushes into this wizard or this uh, this balloon here. Wizards lock onto it and take it down without any problems here. The giants are very low HP, so he needs to get some extra support as he goes into the cannon. But he's already got a wall break down south, and he uses it to deploy the giants into the arch tower down there. And for another layer wall break. Where's this wall break going? What the heck? <laughs> well, it didn't make it through, but it did potentially clear any traps in the area, I guess, by moving in between the defenses. It could potentially save the giants from spring traps in the area. Giants will work with the wizards to get to the cannon here. Looking pretty good here. The balloons swarm into the other side of the base. They wait from the air defense, but the defense is... That gets him through the arch tower, but it doesn't get him through the cannon up at the top of the base here. He now just throws in a giant up there, but I feel like that giant's a little bit early. Puts a wall break up there as well. At least the giant will tank for the cleanup as he swarms into that area and tries to get through it. Another wall break comes down and gets the walls open, so... As soon as this town hall goes down, then the goblins will turn onto the cannon, which will be really helpful in getting it down. The goblins can actually take out this cannon here if they get the town hall destroyed. Okay, they turn onto it now. Wizards step in, and there we go. The goblins and wizards and archers swarm in, and Solax will keep their team in this war. Another triple. Still need a defense, though. Amar live. Playing out uh, Sumio for your death here. One healer. Seven giants. I assume more giants inside of the CC here, but he'll use one giant. Oh, I guess he had eight because he deployed one to go pull the CC here. Now he'll try to draw the CC into a spot that he can easily take it down, or he's trying to group it up on top of a, a building that he's trying to take down with lightning. It ends up leaving the base a little bit there, so we have to miss a lot of it. But he does get the balloon down, so he gets a wizard tower and he grabs out the geared up archer or the geared up cannon, I mean, with that to see them uh, actually pushing their builder bases here to get the geared up defenses, although it didn't last very long there. All that effort to uh, not only max out the tunnel six quickly for this tournament, but then also have the builder base. But maybe they just have these accounts sitting around here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys just keep accounts of all levels, even the low ones like this? Because I tend to keep a uh, at lowest, the Town Hall 8, and I tend to push past that. I don't generally keep accounts at this level, but hitting some spring traps on the left side of the base as he pushes in with the healers and the giants over there, or one healer, I should say. Wiz is up top there, able to handle the mortar, and they will unfortunately get sniped out. Spring trap goes on. Why was there a spring trap up there? Red a spot for a spring trap, kills a couple of wizards. He's got whatever's inside of his CC still, and one more giant to be deployed down at the bottom, but the wizard down south here steps into the mortar. And hopefully we'll be able to get it down there before the mortar is able to take it out there. Looks like he's got it under control. More giants being deployed on the right side of the base here. The healers and the giants that work towards the middle will at least handle this arch tower and move into a tanking position for the arch tower up at the top side of the base there. Looks like it's into that position now, but two arch towers locked on. And the healers end up switching off onto the wizards. The sweeper knocked the healer away and it gave up on trying to heal the giant. That's not good. Does that... If that Archer Tower stays standing, he could end up with a one star on this one here. But he's got the Giants moving in now, and the healer does uh, work with the Wizards here, and the Sweeper will go down and stop it from getting knocked back again, so we should be able to overwhelm this arch Tower with the healer at a minimum. And the Giants are making some good progress into the base there. It looks like they will lock on, and it is going to be a triple here. Your death is not giving up any defenses. They're, or they're not going to they're not gonna give up a miss here and give Madeline a mad... Madian? How do you say that? <laughs> I forgot already. We put it into Google Translate. Let me, let me let me play it here. Like Google Translate. Um it says Google Translate says Medellin. 
<laughs> okay, that's how you say it. This next attacker is Tryhard. You can tell because it is Drawheart, <laughs> which is Tryhard spelled backwards. It is a pro player out of Sra Esports. He just played in the World Championship of Clash of Clans. And look at that, that wall break over there, able to catch the the spring trap next to the can. You guys see that? Like those little things to save the giants from the spring traps here, extremely valuable. He sends in more wall breakers to get in the middle of the base there. And just be able to path the wall breaker in the right spot there to be able to do something like that is really valuable. He does end up hitting some springs on the right side there and in the middle of the base there. So lots of giants being taken out very, very early into the tack here. Obviously is a big, big problem. But he's at least only getting the oh, the giant on the left side there is getting struck by the wizard tower along with the barbarians. But he does get it with another giant. There's another spring trap. That giant on the left side was able to avoid the spring trap, which is really good. He's got some lightning that he's able to use to take out the defensive CC in the middle of the attack there. And he decides to go with the heal spell rather than going in with more lightning. But he's got a good push here with the giants across the middle of the base. He needs more giants to play on the other side here. And I'm not sure which side he needs to put him in, but they're inside of a CC, I assume. And he's going to need that extra support here. Unfortunately, the giant in the middle passed off those healers to the wizards down south. It's balloons inside of a CC. He does end up securing the town hall down south here. And he'll get the arch tower up at the top and make his way in as he does have the arch tower being tanked by the wizard that is holding onto the healer right there. So... The, it looks like down south here, the Barbarian is working onto the air defense. That'll keep the balloons alive here, but the wizards end up getting there right as the air defense goes down. <laughs> okay, he's got a chance here. Tryhard giving his team a chance to pull through this war. The balloons are going to have the support of the tanking provided by the Barbarians. He'll swarm his way in. That one was close. Very nice trap placement from Selenio on this one here, but not enough to stop Tryhard. Nice, uh... Nice job. That was a little bit close. That was really close there. He was running out of giants there very, very quickly. But the healers... The healers and the wizards... It's a little bit of a wizard walk there. <laughs> One healer. Got him through. Chichin. No plays in Savage Esports. Will try to close out the war. If he can get the perfect war or above an 81% two-star, then he will win it for your death here. This attack is the difference of either $1,500 or $700 here in this grand finals match here. But he's able to get the CC pulled and he used the lightning to take out whatever the defense was in the middle. What did he get there? He got a wizard tower and an archer tower out of that there's normally three arch towers three cannons two mortars two wizard towers and two air defenses on these bases so he'll use the lightning to take out the rest of the cc at the bottom of the base here didn't get that balloon out of the way here okay all right just don't mess this up here chichin <laughs> time is irrelevant but obviously don't time fail if you are going to time fail at least get it above an 81 percent here by using a balloon over on the left side of the base able to take advantage of that arch tower missing there to get in with one balloon to get that cannon Wizards will handle the balloon, but they're kind of missing it there as they shoot at it and they hit the air behind it. It'll take it down now as so it stops onto the archer. But here comes the giant swarming in. A couple of barbarians working with the giant down south here, and the bulk of the giants will go right through the wizard tower. Unfortunately, they're all getting struck there together and getting weakened up. Tossing some giant bombs on top of that, and that could be a problem. They circle out of the base there as he pushes in the town hall. More giants deploy, but they're all circling around to the mortar there, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing right now. He's got one more wall breaker. He's doing okay here. He wall broke over the left side wall, and he's going to push some giants in there with some barbarians and wizards looking... Like, okay, he's got the wizard tower down at the right side of the base. They're looking good here. Chichin, God, pushing his way through. Locks up the last of the defenses across the bottom side. One cannon to go, but the Giants end up hitting the spring trap there. 81 and 82%. And ladies and gentlemen, they're not going to give him that chance. It's a perfect war coming in from your death, and they will win the Town Hall 6 Cup here. And this is just the start. We then move in next week into the Town Hall 7 Cup, then the Town Hall 8 Cup, Town Hall 9, all the way, one week at a time, all the way until we hit Town Hall 15. 10 tournaments, $2,500 apiece, $25,000 total in pricing here. And anybody can win it. So if you guys want to set up a team, go over to rush.gg and get ready for the Town Hall 7 Cup. It'll be starting soon. And if you're going to be playing one of the ones later on, start preparing.
Sente will close out the Town Hall 6 Cup with his recent placement is number 3 with MS Esports in the World Championship. You'll start him with a CC pull at the top of the base here with a Giant and a Wall Break as well. Try to get the walls weakened up a little bit there. You'll pull the CC back down across the base here and hit the Air Defense and the Wizard Tower there and cut some trash buildings along with it. He had to use all four there, but he's able to catch the bulk of the defensive CC as he made his way through. And we see our first mass balloon attack here that... Wait, the other, the other one was a mass balloon attack that missed, right? All right, <laughs> a balloon parade to finish it out here. He'll start it with a couple of balloons to go snipe off the arch tower up at the top of the base there. And uh, you gotta keep these packs, like they gotta have enough force here to actually take the defense down. But at the same time, two red air bombs going off onto a big pack of balloons will drop the entire pack. So you really have to be careful for bottlenecks here, but you really gotta attack all different sides of the base here simultaneously. And then make sure that you get the proper amounts of balloons. If you do see the red air bombs going off like right there, Okay, that, that protects the air defense right there, but he's got blues able to quickly reinforce in there. And the air defense is spread thin so widely there from all the defenses that it's not going to be a problem. It looks like all defenses are going to go down right about the same time and get these blues right into cleanup. So, Synthe, I mean, I'm sure we're going to see him use some hogs at Town Hall 7 and 8 as they go into that one there. But a nice balloon attack here from Synthe easily sweeps that in. And I'm kind of curious how close it ultimately ended up there if that other attack ended up going through and didn't end up with a if it didn't end up with a two star if the time would have been closer if they would have been able to convert that into a triple you know what i mean so this one will wind down here he's got he's got plenty of force obviously he's gonna finish it up with uh less than a minute left here so it was it is uh, relatively slow here because the balloons They'll clean up eventually. They're consistent in getting the triple, but... They do a little bit slower than the Giants and the Wizards. I think the Giants and the Wizards just have more overall damage output. But they obviously have to go through trash to get to the buildings. Which helps you time. If you can keep them protected, then you can definitely uh, go fast with it. But there we go. Synthe locks it in. 14 to 15 for our grand finals here. And Tunnel 6 Cup is included. Time is honestly pretty close there. Let's see, that uh, that miss was not a time fail. It was a straight up miss. So it did go all the way to three minutes though. That could have swung the war if he could have got that through, honestly. It's a heartbreaker.